Hello and welcome back to another mini Let's Play. My name is Saiken and today we're going to take a look at a new game which is called Cyber Knights Flashpoint. Uh, this is not in-game graphic, this is more to get into the mood of a cyberpunk universe because that's exactly what we're going to dive into. Cyber Knight Flashpoints is a game that is trying to be a heist and a tactical game at the same time in a Shadowrun-esque universe minus magic plus the matrix and you got a team of agents that needs to do missions so that in itself already sounds interesting we're going to see how it plays out i will show you a little bit of uh, the game as well as uh, the gameplay and core game mechanics and then we're going to crush some skulls because that's exactly what we're aiming for today it's going to be only a one shot so not a full let's play hence mini let's play and i hope you're going to enjoy it if you generally enjoy game reviews mini let's plays and new games then check out the other content that i do have available and without further ado let's run into the shadows of not shadow run but cyber knights flashpoint all right let's go all right we're jumping right into the game we're through a couple of tutorial missions and a few other introductory missions and we're coming to a very convenient uh, site this is the i would call it xcom-esque uh, build up of your base there are a lot of trash rooms i hope that in the final version they are going to rework that concept because in my opinion doesn't make a lot of sense to have trash rooms in your base but be it as it may we're having our underground base and the whole idea of this game is really to go through a couple of runs we owe money you can see there is a loan payment of five hundred thousand dollars we only have seventy thousand so we better get things uh, going and that's already up in 26 days but um, that can be done with our runners or cyber knights i suppose as we do have uh, quite a few of them we're um, having a huge customizability of each of uh, the characters and you typically take three of them into uh, a mission in particular today we're going to run with vladimir dragon uh, we're going to uh, run with rashir and uh, we're going to run with a sniper called strat those three are going to be our main team they are quote unquote the more senior uh, guys and i just want to showcase a couple of uh, things none of none of that is like fully fully fleshed out so far but generally each of the runners, I will call them, or knights, cyber knights, do have uh, their individual class talents. And this is where it gets to the Sphero Grid, which for those old school gamers of uh, you that know Final Fantasy X would know that they were coming up with that leveling system. Then Path of Exile copied it, and nowadays it's just the Sphero Grid for me. Um, this is essentially their skill uh, system. As an example, the Cyber Knight can go into action manipulation um, or AP manipulation, which is called Quantum. That's exactly what we're uh, currently trying to do. Um, then the middle part, I haven't even double checked that that uh, brain slot here. Apparently this here might not work yet. Uh, then the middle part is heavy armor, so that's them tanking and survival is really just getting uh, hit points back. So essentially you can skill through major skills, which are these bigger hubs. Uh, the graphic interface isn't as clear yet. I hope they are cleaning it up. But if you just you look at this example here, uh, pre-computed advantage means we can buff a teammate in a certain radius and give them initiative. Assume initiative uh, in this game will be run, uh, ran through every single round. So it's a little bit like um, Chimera Squad in a sense. And then you can either improve uh, the number of times that you can use it or uh, the amount of um, initiatives that uh, you're giving or uh, the radius would be improved etc etc so you can upgrade that skill if you like it but it will cost you a lot of points the smaller nodes are just stats in this game uh, we're running with uh, four stats reaction which is move speed strength which is recoil uh, management and melee strength 
uh, willpower, which is really armor, built in armor um, reduction and morale, and tech, which is um, crit chance and specifically uh, capability to fight against drones. So I won't go into detail because this is just a showcasing of uh, the game. There are cyber slots that you can put in. I think this is not fully fleshed out yet, but generally speaking, uh, you could uh, put a bit of cyberware in. Currently, I think they only have three uh, cyber um, wares. And then you can um, put a primary, a secondary weapon and one armor in. So a little bit like XCOM, a little bit uh, like that. And they offer attachments or modifications of uh, the weapons. So in this case, he is having a slugger uh, weapon, which is a pistol. Don't get uh, fooled by the idea. Pistols are actually quite strong in this game. And we could uh, put a couple of barrel attachments uh, in. Uh, at the moment, we, for instance, do have a silencer. So let's say we're selecting uh, this can't equip it apparently it is already selected good uh, let's use optics so in case we would put a um, a scope on top of it that would uh, that would work anyways he had uh, has the slant blade and a security armor plus a couple of items armor slots uh, upgrade over time um, he's rocking a high explosive grenade and a first aid kit so, Rashir is going to be our AK-47 or AR-12 in this case, um, automatic rifle guy, mid-range with a pistol as the second one, and then Strahd is going to be our sniper. Generally, Vladimir uh, the Cyber Knight has uh, skills that are um, trying to hack the environment. I haven't really uh, skilled him a lot into that. Generally speaking, uh, our soldier has overwatch skills and is trying to crit because once he crits, he will get more AP. And the sniper is all about uh, shooting uh, rapidly with skull shot and rapid uh, shot. These shots are free actions if you ever have played XCOM. Okay. Cool, so that's the roster. Let's take a look at what else uh, the game has to offer. We have a rich environment of just purchasable weapons. You can see the slugger, for instance, here. It's a common level one slugger. Um, that one is available for 40 grand. And our other rifle, the Raycon that we do have, AR-12, is also available for 40 grand. So you see just how little uh, 68,000 really is couple of other things pistol silencer a few mods now uh, you can really look, uh, look under mods and the only thing that we currently have is a pistol silencer yeah big deal not really needed uh, for us at the moment uh, there are a couple of other items that we could buy but we need to get money and not spend money then there is a whole thing that they haven't yet installed apparently which is the matrix in the matrix uh, we do have our hacker Mercer here uh, Mirsa does have a matrix link and can uh, work with his cyber deck and there are a lot of programs scan sleaze deception disarm but so far I have not used it to be entirely honest so maybe something for a future uh, mission that we can go on let's not waste more time in explaining our base we are going to go up onto this mission loophole heist is what it's called um, we can hack here, optionally, for loot. Hmm. Hmm. I like that idea. Uh, might as well showcase you uh, the hacking portion. And here we come to a few neat features that I actually liked. Uh, you, depending on your uh, faction uh, influences, again, it's not fully fleshed out yet. There are a couple of uh, factions, the D uh, Street Cartel, um, depending on how you uh, stand to them, you either get uh, things that you can get for favor, debuff all enemies with minus 25 ballistic and kinetic armor for two turns. So that, for instance, um, will make the enemies easier or you can um, get uh, reduced security tally or 
uh, you can uh, get four money up um, reduced uh, tally or disable security devices point being um, it makes the mission essentially easier if you ask yourself what tally is well uh, you're going to see that very soon um, we are prepping our mercs to deploy this time we can go in with four mercs which is perfect so uh, we're taking our soldier we're taking our cyber knight and we're taking a hacker uh, let's just double check I think that's fine what's our hacker running okay a small SMG as well as first aid and a high explosive grenade uh, do we have anything else shock mine you know why not throw a shock mine first enemy to enter is debuffed with stunned I like that equip Fantastic. And there you go. We've already equipped a shock mine. Cool. Back. This is going to be our roster. Let's uh, get going. Typically, the game rewards you for uh, stealth, but we're going to ignore that uh, piece altogether because I personally don't enjoy it and I think it's not very well done. But the combat isn't bad and there is potential. So let's take a look. The D Street Cartel seems to be guarding here and we need to get that quote unquote quietly. So we do have tally up here. The higher the security tally, the more likely it is that you are going to um, get spotted out. And that means more enemies, etc, etc. But to be frank, I don't mind additional enemies, actually uh, a welcome change. So we're going to pretty much ignore all of that. The green bar is the health bar. The yellow bar are time units. In this uh, particular game, you have six time units. So everything costs between one and three time units. And that's essentially what you can do. Um, this here is predetermined. Uh, you can uh, basically delay your action once. But after you do that, you need to act. And we might as well start with Dragon. So, he does have um, either a buff for a teammate or buff yourself uh, with two action points. Um, which is something that I have gotten recently. So, there you go. Buffed ourselves got more action points and you can see yep everybody is now having action points um, we could let others jump to our initiative that's not uh, necessary we could security scramble if there would be mines or uh, cameras I show you one here's a camera for instance uh, we could scramble that very much but uh, we're not uh, necessarily doing that so movement is interesting because you move and then you decide whether or not you want to sneak or sprint so we're going to sprint because f sneaking and really what we're going to do is we're going to move up to tauxier who is completely unaware going to be hurt he's like what is that intruder but he can't react it's already too late too late to apologize obstructed he is slightly behind there uh, but that's still good enough nice little hit you can see he's almost down after that uh, one hit and there we go he's fully down we're now going to hunker down uh, in cover you buff yourself with plus 10 percent cover bonus under the end of the turn that's just costing us one uh, action and we're done Mirza, what does he have? Disables a level 1 security device uh, until the end of next turn. Reload, shoot, and I think I could fish for um, a shock mine. Thank you. And I could also fish for a first aid kit. Thank you as well. Fabulous. So, what we're going to do is Mirza. is going to switch to sprinting sprints to here 
That's four moves. Then... Is going to... No, we don't want to let it bounce. Is going to throw that. Come on. Well, it has similarities with XCOM. The grenade uh, throwing is a pain in the rear. There we go. Now there is a shock mine. We're continuing to sprint. Taking cover. And... Can't throw that up there. Okay, that's fine. What we're going to do instead is... We could... Get rid of uh, that. Just... For shits and giggles. And we're hungering down. Cool. End of turn. Let's go. Um... Let's sprint over here and see if we can take this guy. No line of sight. No line of sight. Okay, fair enough. This here would definitely be line of sight, but it would also be a bit too risky. One of the cover system, uh, the cover system in this game is way more flexible than you're used to from XCOM. Uh, I don't know if they are calculating everything in real time, like in uh, like with real bullets, such as Phoenix Point is doing it. But you do have varying forms of cover. Good. What we're going to do is we're hunkering down here, and I would like to take an Overwatch. And you can see basically everything that is blue is properly overwatched. Everything that is uh, greenish uh, with uh, little uh, with little uh, stripes in it is not easily overwatchable. So we're just going to make sure that this guy isn't just running up. And finally, as a sniper, I am wondering if we could just kill this guy. Uh, the answer is yes. So, there we go. One down. Do we have a line of sight here? No. No line of sight. No line of sight. No line of sight. Okay, cool. Well, I know how we get line of sight. And our sniper is going to cover this front here. And we are going to shoot yet again. <laughs> that is so nasty. Listen, why not? Let's do an overwatch here. Just in case someone is moving down. Good, enemy turn. Our shock mine did absolutely nothing. Enemy starts to be a little bit suspicious. You can see uh, security will escalate at the end of the turn. due to the multiple reports of gunfire. And enemies are starting to be dispatched. Good. Uh, we would need some sort of cover. I don't feel comfortable without any cover whatsoever. We're going to be seen. That's okay. Yep, intruder. Surprise, surprise, motherfucker.
110, 130, and we Gucci. Overwatch. That entire area. Good, we're sprinting over. Nice little hit, but not a kill yet. We're just going to overwatch. And in terms of movement, let's do a couple of things. Initiative, security scramble. I would love to have that tactical search again, but that takes a long time. This guy is a little bit too far off. But I don't want uh, to let our sniper run over there all by themselves, that would not be healthy. This here is potentially good. Can see them, but out of range. All right, cool. Well, we could uh, try to stun them next turn, but nah. I think we're just going to kill them. Moves to there. Takes more cover and we're good. End of turn. Let's see what the enemy does. Moves into overwatch. Gets gunned down. Unfortunately, we're now taking the uh, gunfire back because we were not fast enough with Mirza. He's a little bit slow. Moves up. That's a hit. And that's a kill. Fantastic. Good. Disable level 1 security device, not necessarily needed, but what we can do is throw another shock mine and uh, call it the turn because these guys could move up and then are essentially shocked. Marissa is going first uh, this time. Always try to move as far as possible uh, with uh, the action points. Moves in. Somehow we can't see the guy down here. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Could hack uh, the device, but that's all there is. Well, we know that we need to get uh, down there. Good, we're hacking their devices and we are going into full cover. Fantastic. So, oh, that's a long shot. 
This guy doesn't know that we're here yet, so might as well just run over and start pushing from this side. Good. We're, again, just running over. Taking cover. And that's it. Next turn we're going to move in. Reload. Snipers take a long time to reload. Three action units. No line of sight here. I would take this position, it would be just too good, but unfortunately for us, we need to get out here and respawns can happen all over the map. I already realized that in a few other missions, so potentially not optimal. Good, we had an action point left over, which is why it allowed us to act one more time. End of turn. And there we go. More enemies are coming in. As the security very much escalates. Are you kidding me? You can't move through here? Wow, he's trapped on that side. That's a really poor place to be. Good, can we move all the way to here now ah, that would take us too long we can move to here which is good enough allows us to take a shot unfortunately we can't take another one but we can hunger down dragon will do exactly that and we're breaching from the other side Moves to here. Got the high ground. And I think we're just going to use cover here. Move up. Uh, this school shot, if we're hitting, would give us three AP. Okay, we just got three AP back. Fantastic. If they take kills your target, immediately ro reload. Okay, that we can do if we're successful. Ah, 
Unfortunately, we're not, but we can move back into cover. We're still flankable from here, but I hope that this guy still hasn't really figured out what's going on. Rushing in. Couple of good hits. Nothing to completely write home about, uh, but we injured them. Yeah, we're being unfortunately tallied there. More enemies are coming in. I mean, we would be able to kill these guys in one go. It's not even a question. There we go. Overwatch hit us. But Dragon is not taking that lightly. Not at all. Pretty poor shot, but it was worth uh, it was worth trying it. Moves up. Aims. Why? Wow. What a poor chance. Unbelievable. Good, Russian in. Finally. It was a matter of time. Gotta be careful here because just going into the camera will also add security tally. So what we want to do is disable it. We're continuing to rush forward, and I think the enemies don't really know where we are, so they're just standing around. That's the AI needs to develop uh, develop a bit further. That would be one of the points of criticism there. Good. Everybody gets action points, which is good. That allows us to reload. And Dragon's turn is done. Mirsa heals the dragon. And... How could I delay? Delay... To here. Fantastic. Enemies are suspicious, but they are so far behind us. No chance.
running forward and have enough time to reload fantastic good I wonder what we're going to find uh, within that bunker I wonder also, can we loot enemies? I've never tried that, to be fair. Dead body? No, does not give us the chance to loot, right? Move down there. And Mirza is just going to heal our soldier and I think we are then in the bunker, I suppose. More enemies, but that really doesn't mean anything. Good, I think that was already the entire mission. Oh, okay, so that's the first heist uh, with multiple uh, with multiple stages. Sure, let's try the next stage. the idea of this kind of being a real runner team security tally is uh, up very much so but we should be fine rush into no into shooting. Let's kill. Into uh, we don't need to sink anyone. Debuff also not, but could either go via here or we're taking this thing out and then just going through the middle. Okay, this already looks bad, plus six tally for intruders, we don't want that, so we're just disabling the lightning field, or the light field. Switch to sprinting. At which point this should be fine. Rushing in. Can we hit the guy? With reasonable uh, chance, yes. Sure, let's go. Well, he knows we're here. Fair enough.
We're just delaying the action. Our sniper. Can we just move two instead of three and still see him? The answer seems to be yes. Let's try that. Sniper rifle. Outside optimal range, but that's okay. I think we're good. Let's go. Uh, that is annoying. Moves up. And unfortunately that's too far away. Can't do it. Rush in. Hunker down. We were unlucky with not hitting him. There you go, finally the sniper actually does what they are supposed to, which is kill people on range. And then we're moving in. I think that they have not spotted us out. Good. Moving for three. Then we're continuing to move for three. I want to get up here, take this one out, so that we can go, uh, go over without being seen. Okay. Rush in, not taking any chances, and moving over next turn, we're definitely going to kill her, unless, of course, she continues to move away. Moving up. And we're going to use package loss next turn. Very good. So those are the security reinforcements. Getting penance up in the initiative so that we can act first will be very, very useful. We need to run.
And we don't have enough action points to crack the system there. That's unfortunate. But we can stay here for now. Versa moves down here and hopefully we can hit her out of range. 45%, that's a 50-50. But it's not the worst, so might as well give it a try. Yep, 50-50 uh, worked out in our favor, that was okay. Three, four. I'm still trying to figure out. This is very much outside of their range, so we're okay with the sniper. I should have used rapid reload shot. Uh, sniper will have a bit of a problem next turn. Not enough ammunition. Good, we're moving forward. I need the cover. And there should be a kill. Heavy injury, not a kill. And we're overwatching. If that gal moves forward, the overwatch should kill her. Well, now we have a problem. Now we do have a problem. All right, free buff. Oh, no, 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 that is not a free buff. Okay, never mind. That's too much movement, unfortunate. This one is good. He is debuffed. Skips the turn. Okay, cool. In which case, you will be our main target. There we go. Hit, hit, soldier down. And Marissa gets a better initiative. All right. Marissa is next. Obstruct at 10%. Moves up. Good hit, but that guy is tough. Double hit. Still obstructed from here. Hmm. 
Move up. Kills him. That gives us th uh, three action points back. Enough to reload our sniper. And... Begin to set an overwatch there. There we go. Great overwatch. Fabulous. We're using iron grip to reduce the recoil. That's a free action. Oh wow, and with a crit, we're gaining our AP back, which is fantastic. Continuing to absolutely dominate the battlefield. That was a kill, a kill, and a kill. <laughs> oh yeah. Sword rifles, good. And we got rid of that security team as well. Good. Mursa. Takes out the camera. And then we're sprinting. The question is how far can we sprint? I like the idea of being very close to the target. Okay, good job, Marissa. Pierce reloads. Moves to here. And then begins to move over here. Half cover is better than no cover. We got security scramble for next round and I want to keep the tactical advantage if possible. Good enemy. Sort of here's security alert. But doesn't really know where we are. And that's where his problem starts because we got a sniper. Moves to here. Nice little shot, might as well. That's a hit, but not a kill. Hence, no free reload for us. Unfortunate. I figured that something along those lines would happen. Hence, me staying a little bit uh, further back. Tactical search. High explosive grenade. Moves to here. <laughs> nice. Do we have another grenade? No, we don't. Uh, 
Uh, we got a chance to take this guy out. Should take that, yep. Because with a kill, we are starting to become dangerous. There's another kill. Just outside of range. Oh, come on. Wow. Well, Dragon needs to be here, I suppose. We're using the extra AP to reload. And Dragon needs to deliver that endpoint. There is a kill. There is the further movement. And uh, we are pretty much down to nothing left in this round. Good, camera disabled. We are delaying. Dragon is sprinting over. Good. Backtrack the exit. Back here. Secondary exit. Uh, loot valuables. Where are the valuables? Delay. Delay. We're taking our first kit out and healing ourselves. Then delay. And Mursa. Tries to hack. Okay, first time for me in the Matrix. I have no idea what I'm doing. Does not contain an IC. Scanned. What do we have? Um, examines uh, the current link Matrix node uh, for any IC, which is, by, th by the way, intruder countermeasures. That's Shadowrun term, so the guys are definitely in Shadowrun universe. Permanently disables a target passive IC. Uh, permanently disables a target active a, uh, IC. Permanently disables a trap IC. Immediately gain 30 uh, cyber uh, hack for the duration. For the duration of the hack, okay, good. We're going to uh, take that and we're connecting. Let's scan. Where do we want to go? So many uh, things to do.
designed to prevent all unauthorized access. Um, uh, what does that do? Good, that overclocks us. Disarm. We have no attack yet. Deception. Sleaze. That is even the Shadowrun 3.0 uh, terminology. I find it funny uh, to, to see the same things here. Can we get access to something? Can we move to here? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's just do that. And... No, 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 we're not unloading that. We're scanning. Uh, and end of turn. All right, the others are protecting him whilst he is scanning. Reload. Yes, please. Moves to here. Just in case if anyone dares to come in. Nope, that's not even happening, so might as well just hunker down. that and please reload your assault rifle thank you to no one's surprise we're seeing more enemies this really gets a bit of the Shadowrun feel I appreciate the whole matrix thing that is good uh, just get rid of the sneaking I would say Now we don't want to dis uh, delay, not too far. Yeah, completely out of range, that's not going to happen. But we could move to here. And then it's 50-50. And it's good damage, so might as well. Even killed one. Dragon is the man. He knows what's up. All right, connect. Use five matrix. All right, passive IC. Uh, permanently disables. No, we don't want to unload it. How do I hack it? Ah, here, yes, sleaze, three, three AP. Okay, we got sleezed. I see. Connecting here. So that's trap AC. Uh, which means we need to load that. And disarm it. Okay, cool.
now we're connected and now we're scanning fantastic with the scan we found another data log passive one which we could sleaze again sure why not Um, I have no idea if that data is good, but we're just going to get uh, take what we can get, I suppose. Connect here. Forced rerouting. Okay. Interesting. Let's connect over here. Intrusion counter uh, measures. Uh, do we have enough to to just scan that? No. I would like to load the program, but apparently. Force deload of deception. Mm. How can I reload? Unknown node. Okay. Hmm. I wonder. We we don't have. Hmm. Can't connect up there. I mean, we could connect back here, but uh, they just force us to deload uh, the uh, the program. So, really, what we want is our scan program back. So, how do I get that? I suppose. We still have turns left over. Overclocking. All right. Can't scan them because we haven't loaded the scan program, right? Deck, da deck damaged. Force deload by unknown IC. can't really load our countermeasures we do have uh, storage uh, space but the active memory seems to be full see this would overload the active memory hmm that might be because we have uh, downloaded uh, the files no that would be storage right okay connect here connect there Connect here. Reconnect here. Um, hmm. What is this here? We got three files, it seems. So. So 
Well, might as well just leave here. We're disconnecting and we are running out. Cool. So whatever the valuables are, I hope we have looted them. That's a miss. Come on. Nice little hit, but unfortunately not good enough. We can overwatch though. All teammates are going to be synced up, that is important. Because what we're going to do is we're going to run for the hills. Mirza is the one potentially needing to run uh, the longest duration or the longest distance. And I'm not even sure if uh, this heist is over. We somehow still need to get out. Unless, of course, this elevator will bring us all the way out. Good. We've hacked. We've had a run. It's actually a fun game. It needs some polishing, but it is indeed fun. I wouldn't play an entire campaign because there is not enough yet. But the continuous guards and so on, uh, that's not too bad. I like it. Reminds me a bit of long war reinforcements. And boy, do we have security tally. Like we're at level 13. I know there is a bonus for doing it uh, with uh, less than three or three, but honestly, the gameplay uh, is very tedious if you're if you're just trying to sneak with four people in a turn-based combat. Cool. I think we just paid off our loan. So, there is uh, something called heat in the game. And if we're doing too many missions, essentially heat uh, builds up. Uh, the good part is no more 500k that needs to be paid. Great. And we even got uh, some money back. So... Let's take a look what exactly is happening. We got a few unspent points. So the one ability that I above anything else liked is tactical search. So 
higher meters, three initiative and more action points, and a move point. And that would reduce the cooldown, so yeah, we're we're definitely going for the cooldown. Good, that was an absolute monster of an ability. We're purchasing treatment for him. And we got a few other things. Uh, you might not have seen it, but uh, uh, the, the crits gave us action points. So having crits give us even more action points, I think is valuable. The moment that a crit happens, we're going to get action points in. Uh, savagery, if you're killing a target, you gain 25% crit chance. That is good. Long range accuracy, pure damage, ballistic damage. And then that's one turn longer. I think that's a great ability to upgrade as well. Good, as for our sniper, I like that uh, reloading shot, that rapid uh, reloading shot. What else do we have here? Whenever killing an unaware of suspicious target, immediately lower alarm level. Yeah, that's fine. Well, hmm. Sure, why not? I mean, it's a passive bonus. Might as well invest in it. It requires cyber, though. And to be fair, cyber that doesn't exist. So, yeah, that I think uh, there are the limitations of an alpha. And for the hacker, uh, the overclock was okay with the deck. I generally enjoyed the uh, decking experience. Hard shell wasn't bad either. And package loss was good as well. I would like to get something that prevents uh, the, uh, us from getting our programs unloaded. Yeah, this is just overclocking. This here seems to be not bad. Remove um, hit points from every IC in the node. Uh, that actually looks quite helpful. So I wonder if we are respecking and are then taking this and this and this into this, this and that. And let's try uh, train that so that there is a second charge. Seems legit to me. Second charge on disabling others, uh, other stuff outside of the matrix. Yeah, a hacker is doing what a hacker typically does. And that brings us to the end of uh, the episode uh, here. That's a lot of gameplay, a long mission with a proper hack. That is Cyber Knight's Flashpoint. A Shadowrun inspired, I would say, uh, mm, tactical game with uh, a bit of stealth elements as well. And I hope you enjoyed it. If uh, you did, certainly check out and uh, let me know in the comments uh, below because then I can see whether or not we are going to revisit the game in the future. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye bye.